guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk about the two types of drives or pull mechanisms, whatever, that you can get in these high-end Tama hi-hat stands. The Vivo Glide, which is just a direct pull mechanism. I'm not sure why Tama decided to invent a new word for it. It's just a direct pull mechanism, the same type that you can get in basically any hi-hat stand out there. And then the second type that Tama offers is the Lever Glide. And here you have a strap that's connected to this, I guess, cam that has a lever on it. And when you pull the strap, it sort of rotates the cam and that pulls down the hi-hat shaft. Unfortunately, these two stands are not in the same footboard. That's the Iron Cobra, which is the standard length footboard. And that's the Speed Cobra, which is a long board. But I'm just going to focus on the pull mechanisms. So like I said, the Vivo or the direct pull feels like a standard hi-hat stand. Um, of course, very sturdy and smooth and nice, but basically it's your standard hi-hat mechanism and the m further you push down on the pedal, the more resistance you get from the spring, you can feel it. Whereas the uh, lever glide feels a little bit smoother. Um, the pressure from the spring is sort of even throughout the entire stroke with your foot. Um, unfortunately, it does come at a price. So what I'll say is this uh, lever glide is very good if you play rock mainly because this, this pull mechanism sort of bottoms out slower than the direct pull. So it's easier to control the pressure you're putting on your hats. It's easier to control the uh, sloshiness because it's more sensitive at the bottom. Uh, but it's harder to get a nice, satisfying, uh, you know, foot click with this one. So you have to work a little harder. And uh, if you play heel down, which a lot of jazz players do, uh, you sort of have to almost take your heel off the footboard to really push down on it. So, like I said, if you play lots of rock, you probably don't do the foot stomp very often. You're just riding on the hats. So in that musical setting, this pedal might be uh, might have an advantage for you. But if you do play a lot of jazz and you're closing the hats a lot with your foot, uh, you might actually prefer the direct pull one. And that's the case with me. So it's much easier to get a satisfying, a nice tight foot click with the direct pull hi hat. So uh, I made this video because when I was in the market for a new stand, the information on the forums wasn't very good. Most people just said, don't even bother with the Velo Glide, the direct pull, just get this one, it's much smoother. And I actually end up preferring this one. So I got these both at half price and I'm gonna sell this one, but I'm gonna keep the Velo Glide because I play a lot of jazz. Uh, I don't wanna work hard to get a tight foot sound, foot click with, with my hi-hat stand. And so for me, this one is actually better. Uh, it's, it's of course possible to get a nice foot click with this one, but you just have to work with the, with the lever guide, but you just have to work harder. So uh, long story short, neither one is superior to the other. This one is more sensitive uh, with the pressure. It's smoother, but it is a little bit slower and less powerful when you play with your foot than the direct pull. So that's it, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it'll make you, it'll help you make your, your own purchase.